so, I finally gaze upon the face of the Jedi who killed my master, who stole my life's work from me. I was once the Emperor's favored servant, feared and respected across the galaxy. I had a life most Sith only dreamed of, until you wrenched it from my grasp. For that, you will pay. I struck down the Emperor to save the galaxy? And you're angry about losing your job? My master was my life, and you destroyed it! I killed your precious Emperor not once, but twice. Do you really think I'll have any trouble with you? It is not me you should worry about, Jedi. The Alliance didn't kill your Emperor. I did. Leave them out of this. No. They will mourn their commander before we turn them to ash. To thank you for coming, I've sent you a gift. I hope you enjoy it. I see you've made it this far, Jedi. I suppose I shouldn't use that title anymore. Not after what you've done. When I first saw you on Tython, I truly believed in you. I see now how wrong I was. You must be stopped. I've dedicated my life to protecting the people of the galaxy, even if it means protecting them from you. I defeated the Emperor. Twice. Don't lecture me on keeping the galaxy safe. You truly believe you're a hero. It hurts me to see how the dark side has corrupted you. After I destroy Zildrog, I'll use you as an example to those who consider betraying me. You're a weapon we never should have turned loose. Everything I've done has been for the common good. We want the same things, Master Kawix. Perhaps we did. Once. But I see how the dark side has influenced you. I've sent something to slow you down. If you survive, we'll be waiting. Jedi. I suppose you thought you were rid of me when you let the Voss haul me away. Luckily for me, I'm stronger than a few Voss commandos. Unluckily for you, the Order learned I was alive. Now I'm happily helping them kill you. I must say, this has worked out rather well. I know you care about Gaiden Ko. He'd be devastated to know what you've done. Never appeal to a Sith's empathy. It's bound to be a dead end. Wait until I catch up to you, Sophia. This time, I'll make sure you're dead. If you make it here in one piece, that is. I understand your grudge against me, but you're putting the galaxy in danger. The galaxy will always be in danger, Jedi. At least this way, I get my revenge. I've sent along a token of my affection. If it doesn't kill you, we'll be waiting. Hello again, Jedi. It has been a long time. I hardly know how to feel. I wish we were meeting as friends instead of enemies. But I've seen the things you've done, and no, it can't be. I swore to the Republic I would protect them from danger. After witnessing the darkness in you, I believe you are the danger. We fought side by side as friends. Doesn't that mean anything to you? I wish we could return to those days. But peace demands your death. And I cannot stand in its way. I risked my life to save you, and this is how you repay me? I will always be grateful for meeting you, Jedi. I wish our course was different. You're endangering millions of lives, Gaiden Ko. Don't let the Order corrupt you. A tragic sacrifice, so that the future may survive. I have made my peace with it. I have placed an obstacle in your path. Should you live, we will be waiting. I'm sorry, my friend. So, I finally see the face of the back alley scum who killed the Void Wolf. My father. I swore I'd do whatever it takes to hunt you down and kill you. Finally, here we are. What shall I do now that I have you? Skin you alive. Feed you to the beasts of Nathema. Like father, like daughter. 
You're just as crazy and bloodthirsty as he was. I'll take that as a compliment. Looks like I get to put down the entire Void Wolf family. Lucky me. You're as insufferable as they say. Your father was nothing but a criminal. And for the record, he tried to kill me first. And now I'll finish what my father started. The Order will end you. But for now, enjoy the welcome party I've planned for you. Captain, you've been busy since we last spoke. Did you think I wouldn't discover the pirate syndicate you set up? I should have known better than to trust a lowlife like you. And now you're in charge of the entire galaxy. You will run us into the ground unless I stop you here and now. I always knew you were just one meditation away from losing your mind. Make all the jokes you want. It doesn't matter now. No one stabs me in the back and lives, Sumali. I'm gunning for you next. You can certainly try. Aren't Jedi supposed to be against killing innocent people? Stop and think about this. The Alliance dies so the galaxy can live. Not a popular opinion among the Jedi, but I don't care anymore. I've been asked to stop your progress, so I've sent a new friend your way. Enjoy. Hello, Commander. General Esseth of the Imperial Army. I believe you knew my predecessor, General Ratton. That fool stumbled into a position I deserved. And now I'll succeed where he failed. I'll ensure the Order eliminates you and your troublesome alliance. And when I return to the Empire, I'll be hailed as the hero Ratton could never be. Your death will be my greatest accomplishment. You sure think highly of yourself, don't you? All warranted, I assure you. You'll return to the Empire in a dozen pieces. Perhaps. That's a gamble I'm willing to take. I've dedicated my life to keeping the galaxy safe from people like you. Strange. The Order told me the same thing regarding you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a machine god to awaken. Enjoy the surprise I've left you. I can't believe it's come to this. After everything we did together, everything we sacrificed, you've betrayed the Republic in its hour of need. You should have known I'd find out about your little deal with the Empire, that I would intervene no matter the cost. You are a disgrace to Havoc Squad, a disgrace to the Republic, and if it takes everything I have, I will end you. The Eternal Empire almost wiped out all of us, Garza. Do you really think taking sides matters anymore? It matters when one side wants to finish what the Sith Emperor started. Stronger people than you have tried, Garza. You know that better than anyone. If I have to die to protect my people from you, so be it. Every choice I made was for the good of the galaxy. You'd have done the same thing. No. I would have remembered my loyalty. The oath I swore. The uniform I wear. The comrades who fought and died beside me. I know what I'm sending will only slow you down. When you're finished here, we'll be waiting. My former apprentice. Look at you. Emperor's Wrath, Commander of the Alliance. Is there no end to your frantic grabs for power? You made a mistake in your rise to the top. You left me alive. You'll come to realize what a grave error that was. I have craved your destruction for so many years. Now the Order will finally help me achieve it. I showed you mercy after you tried to kill me. And this is how you repay me. Mercy is a form of weakness. The weak do not deserve life. I assure you, this time I won't make the mistake of sparing your life. Your idle threats mean nothing to the Order. I'd almost forgotten what a grandstanding old windbag you are. Hold those biting words, Rose. 
they'll be all you have left in the end. I've arranged for a surprise to stall you. We await your arrival. Commander, you've done well for yourself since we last spoke. A shame you stepped on the corpses of your mentors to get there. When you killed Darth Barris, I labeled you a threat. But then you cut down our master himself. The man who named you his wrath and gave you power. You are a menace to the Empire and a danger to us all. You must be exterminated. I bested my own master and the ruler of the galaxy. Do you really think you'll even slow me down? I can hit you where it hurts. By destroying your alliance. Our master tried to consume the galaxy to extend his own life. I did the Empire a favor. And who will be next in your rampage for justice? I don't intend to find out. You fear I'll come for you next, so you hide behind the Order's skirts. You're a coward. Think what you will, but my actions serve the Empire. Enough talk. I've provided a distraction for you. Deal with it as you will. When you're finished, we'll be ready. My enterprising apprentice. All grown up. You've done well for yourself, haven't you? Did you ever imagine you'd encounter me again? As you can see, I tricked some poor fool into my old prison so I could take her form. Of course, it's not my first choice. But once the Order wrings the life from your body, I'll take it for my own. Think of what I could do if I controlled your power. Your ambition destroyed everything you built. And you still haven't learned your lesson. And you've always been prone to childish empathy. We all have our faults. You've worn out my patience, Zash. This time, I'll tear your screaming spirit from your body and watch it burn. Imaginative as always. I believe I'll miss that when you're dead. You're nothing but a feeble old bat clinging to life. Do you really believe you can best me? I don't have to, my dear. Zeldron will take care of that for me. I don't expect this little surprise of mine to defeat you, but it should slow you down just enough. Enjoy! Alion Dandans Atense Lapto Iswis Du Dalai Lotais Wahaisen Japaiswepa Pershwe Ingalapanai Kapwas Dai Dai Nagai We Sandans Ni Namans Faur Isis Bi Jandans Amin No one should have been able to escape from that trap. What did you do? Panzu after Swesuman. Wiljin Gangisans, Anabusin. What I did to you was unforgivable, but I want to make amends. Return to my side and we can start over. Nibasai Kabarada Ayupapro Ni Magkasiban. Clearly trapping you in that prison wasn't enough. Now I shall finish the job. Ni Mananu Iswis Baidomajal in Matapapupai. I kagai wire papa fraudins ala petaik kalakai in alama. You. I thought I'd be ready for the day I faced you, but I could never be prepared to feel this hatred. Study my face, Hunter. I am Malia Generis. You killed the Supreme Chancellor, the love of my life, for a handful of credits. You will pay for your crimes against the galaxy and against my family. Zildrog will ensure it. I didn't intend to tear a family apart. I was only doing my job. As if that absolves you of anything. Hey, come on. It wasn't just a few credits. I lived for months on that reward. You're a monster. For what it's worth, I'm not proud of what I've done. My apology isn't enough, but you have it anyway. You're right. It's not enough. I suspect what I've sent will only slow you down a little. 
but it gives me some satisfaction at least. Goodbye, Hunter. So this is the infamous Hunter I've heard so much about. You've angered quite a few people, haven't you? Of course, I don't resent you. I simply want to help destroy the one who killed my master, Darth Tormund. By decimating your alliance, I'll earn the right to his title as Darth. In a way, I should be thanking you. There are only two things I can count on in this galaxy. Credits and Sith egos. I should have known a barbaric gun for hire wouldn't understand. You kill thousands of innocent people just for a title in front of your name? Strange words coming from a killer yourself. Good for you. Might as well get that promotion before I gun you down. Such confidence. I'll enjoy witnessing your moment of defeat. Now for the fun part. I've arranged a special surprise just for you. Good luck, Hunter. Agent. I can't believe I'm speaking to you in these circumstances. That it has to end like this. There was a time when I considered us friends. But you lied to me, didn't you? All this time, after everything they've done to us, to me, you were a double agent for the Republic. That lie hurt worse than any torture I've endured. It made me realize you can never be trusted. You need to be stopped. Shara, you were a keeper. You had no idea I was a double agent? I suppose I didn't know you as well as I thought. I never meant to deceive you. It doesn't need to come to this. Let's just talk. There's nothing left to say. Nothing I would believe, anyway. The Empire toyed with our free will, Shara. Wouldn't you have done the same? The difference is, I wouldn't have deceived the people who risked everything for me. I've been tasked with handling your intrusion, so I've sent an obstacle your way. Goodbye, old friend. Well, well. The infamous Cypher 9. Guess I shouldn't be surprised they're in state loyal to you. Once you sink your hooks into someone, they're yours. I know all about you, Agent. As the SIS Director, it's my job to keep tabs on the Republic's most dangerous enemies. You're number three on the list. Of course, that means I know your weakness. Too many friends. Once I help destroy the Alliance, you'll finally fall. I'm a little insulted you think there are two people in the galaxy more dangerous than me. Don't worry. I'll take care of them, too. You really think killing my friends will be enough to weaken me? You haven't done your research. I guess we'll both find out, won't we? Listen to yourself. You're willing to kill thousands of innocent people just to cross me off your list. And it'll haunt me for the rest of my life. But eliminating you will be worth the price. I sent over a new friend for you. If you survive it, we'll be here. Looks like the Order's been busy patching things up here. Looks like the Gravestone wants to eat us! We may need to consider who we'll support when the time comes. I've had enough of this war. From now on, we won't be tethered to any faction. I was hoping you'd say that.